and welcome to this video which aims to present the basic functions of our ePure surgical lights. This video will allow you to get to know the best use of our lights, discover its entire performance range and therefore improve vision comfort for surgeons. First of all, the light may be controlled by directly using its contactless sensors or the wall mounted panel. Each light is identified by a colour which can be found on the coloured spots of the light. The light you wish to control may be chosen using the top right button of the wall mounted panel. The panel colour is blue, this means I am controlling the blue lighting. By clicking on the selection button, the colour turns orange, I am now controlling the orange light. On a side note, let me explain how the sterile use handle is positioned onto the light. Simply slide the handle onto the sleeve, then turn it until the push button is fixed. To remove, simply press the push button and there you go. Our lights may also be equipped with a single use handle support which must be disposed of after every procedure. Coming back to lighting usage, you can switch the light on or off here. Pressing the endo button allows for endo mode lighting. Endo mode illuminates certain LEDs only and is particularly useful as an ambient light, suitable for endoscopic or laparoscopic procedures. The other settings may be adjusted by using the three contactless sensors present on each side of the light. To modify a setting, simply wave your hand about 5 cm from the sensor. From left to right to increase the setting and from right to left to reduce the setting. For perfect detection, the movement of your hand should be wide, start before the sensor and end after the sensor. If you wish to adjust the luminous intensity between 50,000 and 160,000 lux, simply wave your hand in front of the sensor, symbolised by a yellow sun. You can also adjust the focus by using the sensor symbolised by green circles. ePure illuminates up to 26 cm in diameter and is equipped with the patented Focusmatic technology which maintains maximum light intensity even on very large fields. Even if you increase the spot diameter, illumination intensity remains the same. You therefore no longer need to focus for high illumination intensity. Finally, you may adjust the colour temperature using the sensor symbolised by a blue thermometer. This colour temperature may be adjusted from 3500 to 4500 Kelvin and is synchronised between the two lights. When the colour temperature of a light is modified, the other one adapts automatically. We would advise you to select a warm colour temperature, around 3500 Kelvin, when organs and necrotic tissue need to be highlighted. Some surgeons who are used to halogen lighting would also prefer warm colour temperatures which provide red-orange colour shades. However, we would advise you to use cold colour temperature, around 4500 Kelvin, when nerves or vessels need to be highlighted. Do not hesitate in modifying this setting during a procedure and according to your needs. Before ending this video, a few pieces of advice for optimal vision during procedures. Always begin a procedure with a low illumination intensity and a large spot diameter. Once the incision has been made, you may increase illumination intensity one level. If the lighting is not optimal, progressively increase intensity or adjust the colour temperature. Also, don't forget that your lights are positioned correctly. Avoid vertical adjustment and favour an incident position at each side of the operation table and at a distance of about one metre. I hope this video has been useful for you and please don't hesitate to watch our other tutorials on our YouTube channel.